We've all had feelings for someone in our lives, but have you ever wondered whether the feeling you have or had was just a crush or true love that you let slip? Well, in this video, we give you the knowledge to tell whether it was just a crush or infatuation or true love. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Aziz. I'm a psychology graduate of Cambridge University and also a medical doctor. So let's get going in trying to decipher whether your feelings are a crush or true love. Number one, things move too fast. Infatuation or a crush is something that develops very quickly, whereas love develops over time. When you have a crush or develop an infatuation, you start obsessing over their mere existence. These feelings are often based on unattainable desires. A good acid test is if you can completely forget about them after a month or two and you remain unaffected, then it was never love. When it is love, it's a calm, peaceful process that allows you to feel better each day. Love at first sight is a myth. That is a crush or an infatuation which may develop into love, but at that point in time, it's just a crush. Love doesn't happen in a day. It takes time to grow. Number two, physical versus mental connection. When a crush develops, it's usually due to physical attributes that a person is drawn to. Very rarely is there an actual emotional connection. But true love is based on a bond that goes beyond the physical. When you're attracted to the mind, the intellect, the inner core of a person as much as their body, you can say that that is genuine love. Number three, crushes are stressful, love is reassuring. With a crush, you may start acting like you normally wouldn't. Some people become a more intense version of themselves. Crushes are often associated with feelings of stress and a roller coaster of feelings. The reason for this is that the neurons in your brain are contradicting one another. There is a burst of adrenaline or dopamine, the excitement or pleasure hormones respectively when you see your crush. But your logical brain, the prefrontal cortex, is also telling you that there is no future with this person. On the other hand, with love, there is a strong sense of reassurance that everything is just the way it was supposed to be. Again, a feeling of calm and assurance. In a loving relationship, there is energy and fulfillment and perseverance. Number four, you cannot be comfortable around your crush. None of us want to slip up most of the time, nor make mistakes if we can avoid it. But when we are perpetually feeling as though we have to put an act or a show or strive for perfection to please the other, then that is not love. Dr. Irene Brown, research expert on vulnerability, found that those who have a strong sense of love and belonging are open to being vulnerable, whilst those who feel disconnected with their partners, i.e. crushes, consistently build their walls. When you cannot or do not share your emotions, secrets and vulnerabilities with your partner, then that is not true love. Number five, crushes stress on small things. Love lets them go. In a crush, in a world of pretense, there is a tendency to make a huge deal out of the smallest of issues. Any small thing can cause irritation. This is because both parties are putting up a false front, a facade or charade. Whereas in love, it is simply easier to let small things go. Why? Because we are talking about time and longevity again. With love, you can see the bigger picture and learn to let the little things go. The small things is just life. We all have quirks and idiosyncrasies. A crush gets irritated by them. Love learns to embrace them. Number six, crushes are possessive. Love is tolerant. As already mentioned, when you have a crush, there is a clash of neurons firing inside your brain between your emotional side, adrenaline and dopamine, and the frontal lobe and specifically the prefrontal cortex which attempts to make rational logical decisions looking at the long term. Behaviorally, this can lead to possessive selfish behavior. A crush or infatuation can devour a person, making them feel overwhelmed and stuck. Love on the other hand is more an understanding. It is tolerant and full of generosity. In a truly loving relationship, neither partner feels trapped or possessed. Rather, they are strengthened and liberated. Number seven, crushes need physical closeness. Love can go the distance. When you are infatuated with someone, you do not want to lose sight of them. The psychology behind this is that you are fearful of losing them. On the other hand, love makes you com feel completely safe and secure, no matter the distance. Sure, you will miss them, but you will also not be in fear of losing them. You are content in the knowledge that you will see them again. Whether you are two feet apart or two continents apart, you will still feel the bond in love. Number eight, a crush puts you in a bubble. Love becomes part of your life. A crush, because of its rapid onset and intensity, can make you lose all sense of your world because all you can think about is them. Parts of your life may come to a standstill when you are driving, when you are in the gym, you can lose track even when with other people. Love on the other hand organically finds a place in your world, strengthening you in your life and growing slowly and steadily. Love empowers you rather than overwhelming you. If you found that useful, be sure to watch the animated summary on the psychology or art of seduction by Dr. Robert Greene and also find out how to understand the opposite sex in the classic Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Both of these are covered on this channel in 7 minute animated summaries and I'll link them here for you to watch absolutely free. Anyway, I hope you learned something useful and enjoyed this summary. If you want to keep learning about psychology, medicine or life hacks, hit the like, subscribe and notifications button. Any suggestions or comments, feel free to post down below. Until next time, stay safe.